All right, this, all right, this is the fountain project. We're going to tell you guys how this thing works. Now, in case you want to change anything ever, you can. These buttons down here, this is the start button. You hold it for three seconds and it starts. See it starting? Push it again to stop it. If you want to refill the whole tank, this top button is a refill process. Push it and it'll start refilling. And then you just hold this after it's done. After it's done, it'll start automatically, but if you want to go ahead and start it, just hold that button. This bottom button here is the step process. If you hold it in, it stops. You can step it. See how that works? Step, 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 step. Then you have emergency stop here. It's just the main power coming in. It's going through the emergency stop. Boom. Shut the PLC down. Let's start back up. Hold the start button. We have air pressure coming in through a regulator. You can use an air tank, yellow air tank in the thing will work. About five PSI is what works. It comes through here, goes into the inside through another regulator. Here's our uh, power for our uh, pump. We come around. This switch does absolutely nothing right here, but it's wired up just in case. Okay, here's our tanks. We have three tanks. They're all tied together. Come down here and look at down, down here. Three tanks are all tied together. We're refilling through this one line through the filter. We're coming in here, and we had to put this one hose clamp on the hose to restrict it because it fills up too fast the center tank and doesn't equalize. So we had to slow it down a little bit so that they equalize. There's two sensors, a top level sensor and a lower level sensor. Actually, this is the top sensor. And what it is, is just a float switch in here that activates an input on the PLC that tells it I'm full. Same with the low one. Gets to the bottom, activates the PLC on the input, says I'm empty, so start refilling. This thing is automatic, and I'm gonna explain the process. What's gonna happen is this whole thing's gonna run until it runs out of water down below, then all of a sudden it's just gonna automatically start refilling. In the refilling process, the first thing that happens is we shut off the air from this cylinder right here. There's a regulator right here, and you can see we usually run around five. This regulator, this uh, solenoid shuts off the air, which, and then opens this valve, because the pumps run all the time, and sends the water towards the tanks. But we have to get rid of the air that's already in the tanks through this right here, which is our vent the vent line. So we have the whole process starts, comes in through our regulator, through our solenoid, it's manifold. This manifold sends the air to these three tanks and uh, pressurizes the three tanks. The, the uh, tanks have uh, outputs on them, which are the tall stems, and they go all the way to the bottom. As you can see, it just started back up automatically. But uh, the output comes out to, and goes in here and in here and in here and uh, supplies each of these solenoid valves with enough water and pressure. So our PLC is basically saying, okay, open here, open here, open here, open here. And we've done that with sequencers. And on the disc that you're looking at has the program from the PLC. And uh, it goes through different cycles. It starts with this cycle and then goes to another cycle. Another cycle, another cycle. And our main power input comes in through a cooler, comes into this terminal strip, and you have your hot, your neutral, and your ground over here on the corner. And so basically we just sent that to our PLC, and we had to have a power supply because these cylinders are all DC, and so we have DC cards. And we had to run a filter because these cylinders get plugged up. So and we have a catch tray because all these solenoids leak. If you look close, they're all leaking. And they're going to make a mess. Um, we didn't hook up any lights on this end because there wasn't, we didn't see any necessary. But if anyone's putting LEDs on this thing or anything, because everybody talks about putting LEDs, you have to figure that out yourself. I think it's stupid, but if you want to, go for it. Uh, basically, that's how it works. Air comes in. Oh, when let's say we shut it off, 
We push the start button, hold it in. What happens is this solenoid opens up, allows air to come into here, fills up the tanks with air, and the pressure pressurizes it, pushing the water to here. The PLC activates each solenoid, allowing the, the water to uh, get shot out. And that's how the whole process is run. So you just have two level sensors in the one tank that are going to an input on the PLC. Uh, the biggest problem we have with this is the fact that we can't uh, do turn on like more than three at a time because it drops the pressure. If you turn them all on, we drop the pressure and they all start shooting real low. Another hard part is you can't have them coming up very high because they start missing the table. And uh, like I said, about five PSI is all you need to run this thing. If you take it down to the career fair, five PSI runs just about right. Uh, this regular is real finicky. You barely move it. Like, see, I'm just hair over five. If I need to go down, I just twist it just a little bit. So touchy. And it takes time to change. So you can't, can't see the immediate change. You just adjust it and then leave it and see where it's at. Adjust it and leave it. But most of the time, this is the small fine-tuned adjustment and leave the regulator on the other side alone put in about five and leave it there that's we run the pump all the time we just didn't decide to do anything we could have run the program in the plc to turn the pump on when we wanted to refill how we just hooked it up all the time that's pretty much it we got to here's our uh, airlines coming in are these short ones all these short ones that aren't coming out of the tank are uh, air in, they just go in and stop. And all these ones with the stem on them are the ones that are our water feed to our solenoids. So they go clear to the bottom and got a stem on them basically. Uh, that's about all there is to it. To be honest, you got anything you want to add, Kenny? No? Okay, we can stop it now.